What is going on YouTube? Fox here. Welcome to today with a brand new video. And in today's video, we are looking at fire shotguns in every single Call of Duty. So I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, and if you guys are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. We just hit 90,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate it. Next goal is 100,000 subscribers to get that plaque here, bros. So yeah, without further ado, let's go, bros. All right, to start this video off, we're gonna start off with Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Now, Black Ops had the Dragon's Breath attachment for the Spaz-12 in campaign. However, there's a mod on PC that allows you to use the Dragon's Breath, and here it is right here. So you guys can see, it would be pretty insanely OP if it was in multiplayer for Black Ops 1. The Dragon Breath rounds were also in Ghosts for Extinction, but I don't really have any footage of that. So we're gonna move on to our first game where they were in multiplayer, Call of Duty World War II. All right, so our second Call of Duty in this video is Call of Duty World War II. Wait, no, wait, did I put, oh, that's right, you have to load them in. I forget that you have to load them in. They don't just spawn in your gun. I think that's really dumb, but uh, yeah, so these are fire shotguns in uh, World War II. So yeah, this is the first time they were actually in multiplayer. I know that I just showed gameplay of Black Ops 1 having it in multiplayer, but I think that was like a PC mod or something like that, because I, I don't remember them being in Black Ops 1 multiplayer. Oh my. Oh, oh, that's right. You, you only get so many. You only get so many in this game. I hate how you have to load them in, bro. You know what else I really don't like? Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Double kill. That's another guy. Okay, hold on. Triple kill. Overkill. Right, the fact that you have to wait for your C4 to hit an object or a wall or to be placed down permanently in order for it to detonate, I think that's really stupid, honestly. Alright, let's see, we're gonna run back this way. And incendiary shells in World War II were my worst nightmare, honestly. I, I absolutely despised these. Despised without the E. They were just the most annoying thing, especially on shipment, because you, you would get the kids that ran around with a fire shotgun on shipment, and they would run requisitions. It was just so annoying, and I'm being one of those kids right now, but I'm not using requisitions. That's that's the only difference. This game's gonna go by really, really fast, so I'm trying to jump over here. It's very weird, by the way, playing on console and uh, having no FOV slider. It's very, very weird. I don't like it, to be honest. I played my first game because I had to level up this gun in order to get the incendiary attachment. I don't know why I didn't have it, but I just didn't, and uh, yeah. So, get destroyed, get destroyed, get destroyed, get destroyed. Man, bro, we're just going off now. Ah, almost had it. Hopefully we can get a couple more kills before this match ends. Throw that up. We went. Oh, yeah, we won. Let's go. Good job, dude. Hello, uh, sir. If you could stop yelling, please, that would be fantastic. I'm trying to tell everyone that we're going to the next Call of Duty game. Thanks. Alrighty, now we have the Dragon's Breath and Call of Booty Black Ops 4. And uh, this also feels very weird to play, considering that um, I'm also playing on console for this as well. No. Whoa, what? I didn't hit that second shot? Are you kidding me? Whoa, hold on. I love playing free-for-all in this game, honestly. Free-for-all in the new game is just god-awful because everyone just camps. But in this game, a lot of people, like, run around and stuff. Um, oh, yeah, got him. Nice, nice, we got him. At first, the Dragon's Breath in this game was pretty bad. Not even gonna lie. The, it was pretty bad in this game. Wow. Oh, that's right. People run no... I forgot about Specialist and Nomad and how it's complete BS. But at the same time, I'm also using a fire shotgun. So I guess you see that. That's just a clear one shot right there, Rose. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, my goodness. Get destroyed. Oh, that's right. My health. I forgot about my health. I forgot that this game has you regen your health yourself. So in this game, the Dragon's Breath, it's an operator mod. And that's pretty cool because this is like the first time we saw operator mods and have a select amount of... I guess customization for each weapon which I thought was really cool at the time but after playing modern warfare I really like the fact that we can change up our classes in any way possible nice nice I'm using grenade launchers now that's awesome I'm not even gonna use my specialist we're not gonna be cheese like that there bros nope nope you're done let me get my health we got one shot hold on can we get can we get one guy that should get him Oh no, he took my kill! What a- what?! Oh my- Wait, no, no, wait, why is my controller making sound? 
Why is my controller making noise? Yo, my man really just ego challenged me like that there, bros. He's done. I keep double, I keep, uh, I keep trying to, dude, what? Okay, so we're shooting bodies now because I'm using a fire shotgun. Listen, it's for the video. I don't just go out of my way and use a shotgun. I think it was like yesterday. I got a comment from someone who was like, wow, uh, I can't believe you're using a shotgun. It takes no skill or whatever because in yesterday's video, I used a shotgun because I was getting crapped on by shotguns. So I pulled one out myself. And then I started completely destroying the other team. You know, if you guys were in the stream, I wasn't using the 725 at first, you know? And then I pulled it out and I kind of cropped it down and put it in a video. And then the guy, this guy gets like super mad and like super pissed off because I used it. And he said I had no skill because of it. I was like, yo, hold on, bro. First of all, I was using an MP5 in this video at first or in this game or in this match or whatever you want to call it. And then I had to switch because the entire enemy team was using shotguns, bro. I have to play on like a 10 sensitivity now because my sensitivity on a PC has been so crazy. You know, I would go play on PC, but the accounts don't connect when you play this game. They're not linked. Plus, like, I don't have, I don't have this game on PC. Destroyed there, bro. I know we didn't get streaks, but this is just kind of showing off the incendiary shells. And you know what's really cool as well? I think it's awesome how they brought back this attachment, even though it was a part of Black Ops 1 and the campaign in Black Ops 1. It, it was a part of the game in Black Ops 1, just not the multiplayer. We got top three. It's all good. We're going to move on to Call of Duty Modern Warfare, our last game in this video. Alrighty, now we're on Modern Warfare. We have our Dragon's Breath rounds on Modern Warfare right here. And it's... And what is it? it? They're all sitting. Dude, are they all really sitting over there, bro? Hell no, dog. Hell no, bro. No, no, I refuse. This is why I don't play kill confirmed or. Hey, come on, come on. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Hold on. So the Dragon's Breath rounds just came in the other day. And it's just a bunch of Dragon's Breath rounds. It's just, it's crazy. It's insane. Oh, there we go. It's not just a select amount of rounds. It's like all the rounds. All the rounds are the Dragon's Breath. And it's pretty OP if you ask me. People, people want to say that it's not OP, but I think it's OP. Honestly. I think it's OP. And it's also just annoying to die to. Let's see here, there's one. Ah, almost had the second. It feels a lot better to play on PC now, honestly. There we go, he's done. There we go. He's done. Come on. Ah, no, he's behind, bro. This gun is a lot better when you aim down the sight. That's what uh, that's what I've learned from using it uh, a little bit. And I actually asked some people. I was like, yo, is it, is it better when you aim down the sight or when you hit fire? And everyone was pretty much saying, like, when you aim down the sight. So... I'm actually gonna throw up this UAV. Like, I understand like playing with mouse and keyboard is like really nice and I've been having a lot of fun with it. I, I don't know if I can go back to console, dude. I really don't know if I can go back. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys do, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications. I know I didn't talk a lot during the Modern Warfare thing. Um, these just came out and I'm trying to get better at being a PC player so oh if you guys did enjoy this video and you guys want to see other like videos that are that are evolution style videos let me know down in the comments which ones you guys want me to do um yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later come on